Wherever the bubbles are hooking onto, those are tiny little imperfections. And if you snap like this, you can actually move the bubbles around. And believe it or not, that's the secret to being able to open up a can of soda right after you shake it. Watch. All right, here we go. Shake up the can. You should not open up this soda for a long time. Here's why. If you could look into the can, you would see that all those bubbles of carbon dioxide are hooked on the inside walls all the way around, just like this glass. If I release the pressure, then we increase the volume of those bubbles, which means the bubbles just get bigger and they push all the liquid out. And that's not what we want. So if you've ever seen somebody tap the top of the can before they open it up, I hate to say it, that does nothing, right? Tapping the top doesn't do anything. As you saw from the glass, you need to snap the sides. So if you snap the sides after shaking the can, and you shouldn't open this can for a week, right? You are now moving all of the bubbles to the very top. If the bubbles are at the very top, when you release the pressure, it shouldn't force all the liquid out. The only way that you can test that is to open up the can. All right, here we go.